you can't keep doing this. You got to think about the future. Like, preserve your shit. Because I think also he knows that he's fucking Alicia. So it's kind of like, hey, dumbass, you're playing with your life. Yeah. So, and that's when, you know, he takes his money and walks away. More Mayor Denton Gordon stuff. I think mm-hmm. just kind of talking about the bad. Or, yeah, you know. it's it's they're kind of plus. Like, the, plus, they're also talking about we'll get rid of the crime. Yeah, because they're talking to the press at this point. I think yeah. like, we'll get rid of the crime. Two hundred's happening. Yeah, well, like don't worry about it. We are going to have this damn celebration, and the criminals are not going to stop us. Sound familiar? Yep. Um, gets worse. We'll we'll make the comparison in a minute. Yeah. Uh, Knox in the uh, bullpen for the I guess Gotham City uh, mm-hmm. paper. And he's a joke. Yeah. Um, like, he's the only one chasing the Batman. Uh, one of the writers goes, like, oh, we got a picture of the Batman. Yeah. And it's a bat in a pinstripe suit with mm-hmm. Bob Kane's little... And that was... And there's a the point bar. for that. Because that was supposed to be Bob Kane. And he was supposed to do that when oh, he okay. fell ill. But he did draw that picture. So that um, signature is him. He drew that picture. And he sees at his desk a mm-hmm. woman... Hello, legs. Hello, legs. And it's Vicky Vale mm-hmm. uh, in town mm-hmm. chasing bats because she wants to see the local wildlife uh, bats. Yep. She says it like she's got a fetish for it. Well, here's the thing with this ver- this iteration of this Because the minute character. she goes, bats, like, she's, like, yeah. really obsessed well, with it. She's like... got, a, she's got a, a hard-on for anything that's, like, dangerous because they show her going to the Carto Maltese. Now, if you're a comic that's book a fan... Name check. You'll know what the Carta Maltese is. That's where they. That's the biggest war zone in in DC Comics. Like that's where you go when shit's on. You know what I mean? So they show like, oh, she went there and did photographing of fucking dead bodies because there's a flat out picture of a dead body in the dirt, and you're like, um, kids movie. Yeah. Um, but you know, like that's that's what she does. So I think the idea of a vigilante bat, she's just like, oh god, I'm just I'm. I'm so wet, I'm sliding off this chair right now. Right. That's her thing. Uh, he's He suggests going to the Wayne Manor, the mm-hmm. Wayne party, because everyone's going to be there, but he can't get in. Yeah, and she's, like, she's oh, got go? two tickets, and she's I'm like... like I don't see my, I don't see my uh, invitation here. No, no, no. And she's like, yes. Where did she get two tickets? Hello, legs. I guess. Also, I guess she's a famous photographer. She is, but her, I'm... like the Colin Murphy stuff was in like yeah, her time. Exactly. Whatever, so know. I think that's the I think that's the thing around it. I do enjoy uh, Robert Wool's performance where he's just like, Vale, will you marry me? No. Will you buy me lunch? Maybe. I eat light. <laughs> he is really good. In this he really is. Uh, right before the party, though, we get Grissom and Jack. Mm-hmm. This is the whole you're my number one guy. <laughs> I got you. Don't worry. Yeah. Basically, what's happening is he's got to go. Fuck, he's got to go steal something from Axis Chemicals. I don't know why it's not Ace Chemicals, but, you know. Well, no, there's a rumor that supposedly Axis because of Axis of Evil. Yeah. Mm, yeah, all right, that's a little stretch. Um, I just think... You name check Cold Mortis, but not Ace. Yeah, but not Ace Chemicals. All right. Really? All right, but fair enough. Um, so he's just like, I need you to go here, and he's like, aren't I... Like, basically, Jack's like, aren't I better than this? Like, Yeah, like, go get, go get he's fucking got, these guys. He's literally got Eckhart in his fucking head going, hey, I'm not your fucking stooge, because he guy told me I was, but no, I'm not. Fuck you. And then you literally have Alicia fucking staring at Jack. And of course, Grissom sees it. So she's, he's just like, "Uh uh-huh. Yeah, this is why you're going, dickhead. Yeah. And then he's just like, you know, like, he's like, you're going because I need somebody I can trust. And he's like, don't forget your lucky deck. And he throws the fucking deck of cards into his, uh, into his hat, which is just kind of a dick move. And he just goes, and remember, you are my number one guy. Jack Palance is in this movie uh-huh. like ten minutes tops, yep. and he's fucking fantastic for every frame of it. I mean, first of all, the late great Jack Palance is great in fucking everything. Yes, um, I'm not gonna lie. Like City Slickers, not a good movie. Jack Palance, I believe, won an Oscar for it. Because and did one on push good. Yeah. When he did it at like to prove, eleven, D. even though he's one hundred and seven, yeah, he can still do that. Jack Palance is the was the fucking man, and he's great in this movie. Yeah. He's so great in this movie. And then he basically, so Jack walks out going, "What the fuck does that mean?" Mm. Of like, "You're my number one guy." And then fucking uh, Grissom picks up the picks up the phone and just says, "Get me Lieutenant Eckhart." I'm like, oh, that's fucked up. Yeah. All right, that's ominous. So party at Wayne Manor. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not discussed what the party is. I don't think. Um, it's Bruce Wayne's. I'm a rich asshole party. Yeah. That's what it seems to be. 
And everyone's there, uh-huh. the mayor and Dent and the commissioner and Yep. We see Bruce Wayne. Mm-hmm. Because we know, just before they introduce him, they're just like, well, Vic, Vic Vale asks him, well, which one of these guys is Bruce Wayne? He's like, well, I don't know. I don't know. Um, somebody. Somewhere, somewhere around yeah. here. And uh, I do enjoy that, like, he's so taken with her that he can't, he forgets how to do things. He, he takes a drink from a glass, which I'm like, first of all, Batman shouldn't be drinking, but whatever. He does in this movie. He puts down the glass and it almost falls. Alfred literally has to run and catch it. I think he puts a pen in a. He does put a he does, yeah, like a, a toothpick or something like in a plant into a plant. <laughs> Alfred's just, following him around, yeah. like, cleaning up after well, him. What, what Alfred does with like the best like oh my god yeah man. like this fucking guy. But at the same time, you got to look at it as like oh my god, he's not wearing the black suit like the big fucking rubber suit. He's focusing on a girl. I like this better. Yeah. So I'll let him. I'll pick up after him. <laughs> I also like that Knox tips him like a dollar and yeah. he looks at it like ugh. <laughs> I think he looks at it and goes, "What is this?" Yeah. Is this money? I don't... I've never seen a one dollar um, bill. Knox is bothering Commissioner while he's throwing dice mm-hmm. at the craps table, asking him about the bat. And Commissioner's like, you know what our stance is, Knox, about yeah. the bat. Like, fuck you. And Dent's like, you know, what are we going to do? Chasing ghosts, go- ghosts and goblins. Yeah. And, <laughs> and the mayor has no he has time. better just... things to do than chase ghosts and goblins. Like... He's not given anything to do in this movie. So what he is Billy given, Williams, it's like Jack Palance. Yeah, what he is given, what he, is given he fucking takes and runs with it. Fuck you, Joel Schumacher. That's all I'm saying. And then the mayor's just like, no comment. Yeah, I don't want to like, get away from this me. This mayor is awful. I don't like this guy. Um, so they go, they find their way into Bruce Wayne's trophy room, <laughs> where he's just got armor from different places. Because uh, that's what you do when you're rich. You collect mm-hmm. armor. He's like, I think this was King of the Wicker People. Where do you think he bought this one? They stop and go, where do you think he bought this one? I'm like, it's clearly a samurai. Yeah. Like, like it's... <laughs> yeah. But then, of course... Bruce, Bruce who's following them. just goes, well, I think it's from Japan. Well, how do you know? Because I bought it in Japan. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Bruce Wayne. And he shakes Knox's hand and Knox's like, buck? I just gave you a buck. Can I have my dollar back? And then... I'm confused. Vicky just goes, are you sure? Yes. This time. This time. Mm-hmm. I'm confused. Mm-hmm. Does no one know what Bruce Wayne looks like? This has been okay. I've I've been on. So this. Vicky Vale's not from Gotham. I can buy she doesn't know what Bruce Wayne looks I've like. I've been on this because this has happened in a fuck ton of movies. They did it in fucking Batman v Superman as well. If you are the richest person in the small city of Gotham, people know exactly what you look like. We live even in the fucking eighties where we knew who the billionaires were. And Bruce is one of them. Absolutely everyone would know what Bruce Lane looks like. Christ, you're in his fucking house. There's going to be a picture of his ass somewhere. He's got to be in magazines and yeah, newspapers. Exactly. Like, the dude, any time the dude... Like, at the fucking... Like, first of all, these two are supposed to be reporters. You'd think once or twice they'd look in the business section and maybe go, Hey, what does the guy look like so I can go... If I'm going to fucking talk to him, well, maybe let's find out what he looks like. I'll give Vicky Vale the benefit of the doubt. No, She's not from Gotham. But she works at the fucking newspaper. They have to have well, a business section. She doesn't work newspaper. She, well, she does now. Well, Hawk, she, Knox hires her up. But what I'm saying is Knox should know. I mean, know. in all fairness, yeah. Well, all of them should know yeah, because yeah, yeah. she also, being a woman of the world, and is about to fucking see Bruce Wayne, it's not that hard to find out information, even in the 80s, of who these fucking people are. Like, do some research, reporters. Yeah. So, Alfred hurries him out. Like, Commissioner left pretty quickly. Mm-hmm. That's great, Alfred. He left he really left quickly. Very quickly, sir. This is not. I love it. Not the only oh, no, time. I think he, he did... said something along the lines of like he was summoned. Yeah. Away. And it's like, I do oh, like. Fuck. This is not the only time during this mo- these movies that mm. Michael Goff goes like no the, <laughs> the other car. <laughs> I know exactly what scene you're it's talking like about. Subtle, like, yeah, he's he's we need like to go. hey asshole. Yeah. <laughs> like it's, it's almost like world's greatest detective indeed. So he walks off, and we see behind the mirror. Mm-hmm. There's a camera. He's got the stupidest setup I've ever seen, where he's got three cameras pointing at the same thing. Yeah. That doesn't make sense. Although he's just like, hey, that's great, Bruce Wayne. Can I have a grant? And then at the end and of the scene, he's like, oh, yeah, get Knox give a grant. Give a grant. Um, the thing I want to, I laugh at is that, so he goes into his fucking bank of computers, and he scrolls up. I'm sorry, no. In in any time period, even now, you're not going to get. That you are not getting that, audio quality. that audio quality, that image quality like that. You're not getting it. It's not happening. But he's able to do it because commissioner, the commissioner gets pulled aside by a uniform officer, mm-hmm. going like, 
We are, we're, Na- Napier and his gang are going to go to Axis. Why well, wasn't I informed of this? Well, it's Eckhart, sir. Oh, my God. See, <laughs> this is why this version of Commissioner Gordon's a piece of shit. Because, in a minute, he knows that Eckhart is in fucking Grissom's pocket. Why does this guy still have a job, Commissioner? Yeah, I don't know. I, I like the actor, but, mm-hmm. again, how he portrays Commissioner mm-hmm. Gordon. Um, so we go to Ace Chemicals. Oh, and it gets worse. We go to Ace Chemicals. Mm-hmm. Not Ace Chemicals, but Axis Chemicals. Yes. And they open up the safe, and it's there's it's empty. And we've, we've been, been ratted out, boys. Watch it. And then the cops come with Eckhart. Mm-hmm. Shoot to kill. Order shoot to yeah. kill. This is where he gets a little bit more of the gravel back. And then we get the weirdest shootout ever where no one's taking (laughs) cover. The bad guys aren't taking cover. The cops aren't taking cover. But nobody can hit the broadside of a barn and there's chemicals going everywhere. Spilling on to people, but nobody's being like, ah, God, acid. again, they all went to the Stormtrooper School of Shooting. And, yeah, they can't hit shit. Um, Although the image of them hitting a thing and yeah. like the green chemical pouring out it is, is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's, um, it's it's gorgeous. Like all of these scenes are shot beautifully. They just don't make any sense. Yeah. This movie does not make sense, as you're going to find out as we keep going. Um, but yeah, it's it's it does look phenomenal, and this this scene is no different. Uh, so in the mass of mm-hmm. all of it, even yeah. Commissioner Gordon showing up. Yeah. How I don't know, but mm. with a. Pretty piddly looking pistol <laughs> from an impressive distance. Yes. He sees Eckhart. Jack sees Eckhart. Oh, no, he's not there yet. He, we're, not, we're nowhere near yet, there yet. Well, they go. Well, there's a shootout. And Batman is this, shows up. Is this up? where Batman shows up? Yeah, no. The Eckhart thing is right at the end. Oh, okay, it's right at the end. So yeah. Batman does show up. Mm-hmm. Batman floats down and. He's taking out bad guys. Yeah. And the greatest fucking reaction, like as much as I just shat on, Chris, on uh, Commissioner Gordon. He gives the best fucking reaction I've ever seen. He fucking drops down and he just goes, Oh my god. Because he's been denying this forever. And he, he sees doesn't know. This fucking and he fucking dude in sees a rubber it. bat suit. And he just goes, Holy shit, it's real. And he fights off some bad guys. I mm-hmm. like the guy running and then he just fucking puts his arm up yeah. and knocks him out with a one hit. That was another thing my dad tried to fucking tell me. He tried to tell me that there was radar in the fucking ears. I mean. I'm not well, you gonna can lie. hear the guy running, like, on the grid. Well, or on the, let me tell you this. Metal. All the stuff my dad told me, retro, like, now is true. Like, the comic book version, Batman does have mechanics in his suit, and he does have radar in his ears. Didn't then. But... Dads know, man. My dad knew, man. Dads know. That's what they Trust know. They, they know. know. They know everything. Because yeah. you don't think they do, but then you mm-hmm. realize retroactively, they know a lot mm-hmm. of things. Mm-hmm. So this scene's great again, like the chemicals spilling everywhere, yeah. the smoke. How Batman shows up for the first time through the that, smoke. That, that floating down is still is still beautiful. Now, mind you, at the same time, Jack Napier is running away, but instead of running out, he's just messing he's with messing with everything to try and, and throw people off. Which up. I understand the point, but in a world where you're hitting the place, wouldn't you know where all the exits are? Wouldn't you? I would imagine. You know, if you're a oh, professional, man. you would know. So he would he should know where he's going. But then he fucking sees the bat, and he just goes, what the fuck? Because he grabs him and holds him up. No, and, see, here's the thing. Mm. No, he shoots Eckhart, no, he and then he's going to shoot Gordon. That's at the very end. That's at the very end. He, he doesn't him. shoot Gordon. We'll get there in a second. But yeah, so he grabs Hang on. Uh, yeah, when yeah. I get there, you'll, you'll be like, all right, yeah, that's how it happened, because I literally watched it this morning. That's why it's fresh. But he fucking... So he grabs him, he grabs him and literally Jack Nicholson's response is, Jesus! Because yeah. he's holding them up like that, because he shouldn't. And then, that's when Bob holds yeah. the gun or I'll do to... Gordon. Yeah, he's like, put him down or I'll do Gordon. So he puts him down, and then... Nice outfit. Yeah, and then nice outfit. And I like the little smile on... Yeah. On Bruce, on Exactly. Like, and then... Oh, yeah, okay. So then Batman splits, because he, he picks up the gun to go shoot Batman, and Batman's fucking gone. And he's like, the fuck happened? I'm like, oh, where, where'd that asshole go? And that's when he okay. does. That's when he does Eckhart so because I like, he doesn't even stop. With that's my. Shooting. That was my complaint. That's why. That's why I'm like I remember this because I thought that immediately. I'm like, Batman is really not good at saving people. Like I understand Eckhart is dirty, but does he deserve to die? Batman, who's not supposed to let people die. I know he kills a lot of people in this movie, but that's not the point. Especially because of what he does in this next second. So he shoots fucking Eckhart with a piddly ass gun from yeah. a pretty impressive distance. It really is. So Eckhart's fucking dead, and then he turns around, sees the bat again, and Batman's going to fucking attack him, but then he goes to shoot him. And Batman puts his arm up, because apparently his arms are now bulletproof, which, no. 
It bounces, it ricochets off his arm, off a wall, and it...